for thirteen Australian Asia on the channel where we have the New South Wales A initial floodwatch, a trough and associated cold front moving through New South Wales today with the trough deepening into a low off the coast later today. This development will bring rainfall to southern and central parts of the coast and ranges with some moderate falls likely about the central parts of the coast. The low should weaken during Wednesday and Thursday as the high becomes dominant over the Tasman Sea, pushing a ridge into New South Wales. Another cold front looks set to arrive on the weekend. The weather system has the potential to cause riverine flooding as well as local flooding from Tuesday nights onward. And on the screen is a look at some of the uh, rainfall wind activity over the Sydney region. The Bureau of Meteorology has in place a gale warning for the Macquarie, Hunter and the Sydney coast. Strong wind warning in the Sydney coast waters Illawarra and Batemans coast. Now we have a look at the total precipitation it's a GFS model extracted from the BSCH website and it's from 1300 hours through to the same period tomorrow Strong wind warning, southeast, southwest, central west coast, Tasmania. Now we have a look at storm probabilities for the same period. Bureau of Meteorology here in Queensland has a strong wind warning for the Moreton Bay, Gold Coast waters and the Sunshine Coast waters. We also have a fire weather warning. Severe fire danger ratings. The forecast will affect the Darling Downs Granite Belt today and may affect isolated parts of the northern Maranoa, Warrego, southern central Hainan coalfields, western southeast coast districts. Now we have a look at the winds, 850 millibars level information at the bottom of the screen. Fresh, strong and gusty northwesterly winds expected to bring hot, dry conditions across the warning area. A fresh and gusty southwesterly wind change is expected to move across the southern interior of the state during the afternoon and evening. Now we have a look at the BIA's 12 hourly and 24 hour rainfall outlook. Isolated thunderstorms also Forecasts to develop across the Downs, the southern, the southeast this afternoon and evening, tendering scattered closer to the coast given the dry air mass. Some of these thunderstorms will have little to no rainfall, so there is a risk that dry lightning could ignite new fires. Further sun thunderstorms may produce gusty and erratic winds. And for the remainder of today, severe fire danger forecast for the Darling Downs Granite Belt. For Sathurnine's AU channel, we'll continue to bring the latest information on the local weather scene. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com, our YouTube page youtube.com forward slash force13, on Facebook under the same name force13 and our Twitter handle, it's at force13 if you wish to get in touch. You can also add force13 on Skype 
and my personal account on Discord, Fool13, at extension 9094.